So, sir, may I know what is the duration of this course for kids in your ashram? Yeah, well, so there are two types of courses. Uh, one is the academic, the other one non-academic. All academic courses, four weeks or five weeks. Okay. And that is usually for the seventh standard to tenth standard children. And the non-academic, it is between eight years to twelve years, one group, and thirteen years to fifteen years, one more group. Okay. So th this is usually for one week or two weeks. They can select either one. So if they are coming for one week, it is uh, in Sai Dhamma uh, mm -hmm. near Kisra. If it is two weeks, it is uh, near Gandipet, Sri Sachidananda Yoga Machine. Okay. And depending on the availability, we might do one two weeks program in Divya Retreat, Kisra. As a parent, if I have decided to join my kid in your ashram for this course, uh, may I know the uh, accommodation details? Well, so uh, children, those who are joining the four or five weeks program, uh, they have rooms. Per room, two or three children, they, they stay. Okay. And at the same time, we also see that uh, sometimes uh, they, they sleep in halls, common halls, okay. uh, to get that bonding and to be able to manage very easily all that. So, it, you know, the facility is very well, it is there. Before the camp starts, all parents are welcome to come to the place and visit. Uh, the Ramakrishna Ashram Kisara, they can come and see the place, Divya Retreat, just next to that, they can see the rooms, facility, how it is, everything. Even the Sai Dhamma or Sachidananda Yoga Machine, all these places, they can come and visit the place and they can take a call. Uh, there is no AC here, again, one more important thing, but the rooms are very decent, very neat, clean. Uh, especially the uh, Ramakrishna mission rooms are very, very well. Uh, so beautiful the place, entire thing uh, in the nature. And along with that, there are people who are uh, there to uh, take care of the cleanliness. And those who are uh, experts in uh, taking the children outside, everything, it is there. You may know what type of food you are providing for the children and how many times in a day? Well, so it is completely sattvic food. Uh, basically, people, those who know about uh, Samadhi Yoga and the habits, food habits of Samadhi Yoga, uh, they really know what kind of food it is. Uh, uh, mostly people think that uh, the moment they hear about Samadhi Yoga, we give all raw foods. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do give some raw foods, but it is not completely raw food. Okay. Uh, we want the children to uh, experience the taste of uh, raw foods, eating healthy uh, vegetables, salads and fruit juices and everything. So here the sattvic food without onion, garlic, it is given. Mm -hmm. Of course, the, you, you know, without any doubt, there is no non veg or all, all these things. Mm -hmm. um, the mashal items, it is very less. The mm -hmm. spices or all these things, it is less. Uh, usually, whatever we make in home, same kind of food is prepared over there. Okay. Um, uh, while taking care of the nutritional values. Okay. So, morning uh, when they do the asana or pranayama, after that they take one kashaya or ragi malt or something, milk or something. And then by 8.39 they have breakfast. Just like regular breakfast, idli, upma, vada, all these kind of things. Uh, oil items we try to reduce it because it is a summer okay. and uh, it is not good uh, during the summer. As much as possible, uh, more of uh, vegetables and then the, the, the food items that keep the body cool. Uh, those items we use. And then by 11 o'clock, uh, buttermilk or uh, lemon juice or some kind of juice or fruit or anything by 11, 11.30 while the break is there. Then 1, 1.30 we have lunch. Okay. A regular lunch with one dal curry and then uh, if the children are coming from North India, the roti mm -hmm. and then curd or buttermilk, sambar, rasam. So just like what we do at home, one sweet, definitely there is a sweet every day with joggery, uh, this kind of thing. Normal thing. Of course, occasionally we do give varieties, but uh, it is not like mashallah so much that we put on you because the food has to support a lot. Uh, for the activity that we do over there. Okay. There, so there are restrictions, uh, especially when they are doing, going through some kind of meditation processes or when they are going through some activities, different kind of food is given. Uh, when they are going for physical activities, we encourage them to eat a lot more and all uh, very strong food, strength, strength food we give. When they are going to subtle processes or mental, lot, lot of intellectual understanding or different kind of food is given. When they are going through meditation uh, and all these processes, they are given different processes. So, especially when the meditation happens, we introduce these raw foods so that it can support the body. 
uh, it is not full at the same time the other food is also available child will taste taste it and see whatever the child likes they will go ahead with that by 4 4 30 we have some kind of snack okay no coffee tea absolutely okay. uh, and we and we know that like there will be few children who will be very fuzzy with food and you would have also seen some difficult times with children like they won't be very much cooperative especially when it comes to food and at that time what you like uh, how it will be like the environment do you have any people like particularly uh, caretakers or any nannies for the children perfect so <laughs> this is very important question okay. uh, so in the previous question they eat their dinner by 7 7 30 when it comes to this food eating and all the habits especially uh, there are children uh, who don't eat or who have never eaten curd yes so they are hesitant about it or there are children who don't drink milk or there are children who don't want to eat the beetroot looking at the color itself they are very much uh, they have a lot of resistance there towards will be that children too who have yeah. complaints with all type of food all type all types of food yes. so here we have a very nice beautiful system first of all okay no child should waste any food this is the first thing that we prepare the child with uh, some we bring actually one person to the camp about to explain the importance of food those who have been feeding uh, you know maleshwar rao you know uh, he is uh, he is a great uh, food uh, donor or you know he works in the food so we bring him and make him explain what is the importance of food he actually serves about 2 to 3000 meals in the city every day uh, wow. wherever the leftover food is there he collects from that place hotels functions everything and he serves okay so we make the uh, the children experience what kind of serv uh, service he is doing and the importance of food and everything wastage and everything so children children will get commit to uh, not wasting food first of all that is first important thing then one more uh, important training part everybody should take everything Okay. So, whatever the item is created, everybody should take everything. So, first of all, whatever the resistance is there towards that. Have you ever tasted this? Yes or no? Logically. No, you have never tasted, right? Then why the resistance? So, first, you take little, just, you know, very pinch of it. Just take it and see. How does it taste? Or you just close your eyes and then put that in your mouth and see. Or we say sometimes, okay, all of you are going to close your eyes, we are giving laddu in your hand. So, we put the beetroot laddu or something and nobody will open their eyes and they will eat. So, then eat. How is it? It is extraordinary or it is really great, fantastic, very taste they will say. Then we will ask, okay, what is that item? Many children, they will not be able to say what it is. Mm, At the end, actually it is a beetroot and many have resistance about the beetroot looking at the color. So, once they get the experience of the taste and how it is and then we, even when it comes to curd and buttermilk too, okay. There are children who never, never touch the curd. They started eating. Uh, they will make the habit. So, all these things are taken care of very well. Uh, definitely, we, uh, we have people who will monitor everybody uh, on uh, uh, the food part. Okay. So, of course, the other side you know uh, parents may worry about uh, reducing weight yes uh, this is simple very very simple logical thing that there they are continuously playing jumping doing this doing that yoga a lot so naturally uh, the body becomes more fit so whatever the other you know previously the cholesterol this that the, how strong they are we have to check yes that is important it is not about having lot of uh, fat in the uh, <laughs> thing um, so, uh, food is taken care, it is uh, prepared by uh, mostly our volunteers okay. with a lot of love and affection. Uh, we all want to see that children eat very well, very nice and they get the benefit of healthy eating. Okay. And the importance of uh, raw food is given, okay. that understanding is given. What kind of food is uh, healthy, what kind of uh, food actually sucks the energy from you, takes away the energy that you have within you. Okay. And what kind of food actually gives you more energy? And there are some foods, neutral foods that they don't give or take energy from the body. Okay. So, once they understand, they start implementing. And actually, children learn very faster yes. than adults. Okay. Uh, Gopiji, can you tell uh, what is the schedule in a day? Like, uh, what, what are your actual plans in every day? Right. Okay. Children get up by 5.30. Okay. 
Uh, if it is young children, they get up by 6 o'clock. So, first, depending on the location and the place, uh, first they go to natural cause and they come for yoga. Okay. They do asana, pranayam, meditation, this kind of things. In one location, first they take, as, as they get up, they take bath, everything complete. Then they come for this uh, session, yoga session. So, the day starts with yoga, first of all. In yoga, ashtanga yoga, we give yama, nima, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, samadhi. Related to these things, talks are given and the activity or the asana, exercise, everything is done. So, during this time, of course, they take one drink, either kashaya, or ragi malt or anything, this kind of thing. Then, about uh, 8.39, we have the breakfast. So, 9.30 to 11.30, one session. Usually, it is academics. And 11.30, one small break. During that break, they take either juice or fruit or something. Then, one more session, around 11.30 to 12.45. 12.45 they meditate okay. and then afternoon meditation is very important actually. Yes. Um, then uh, 1, 1 30 they will have lunch, little rest, 10-15 minutes just here and there, relax, all that. Then they have the hands-on activities afternoon time, especially 2 to 4, 4.35 uh, related to science, physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, all the hands-on activities. Okay. Then around 4.30 we have the fun club. Okay, very interactive sessions. Yeah, so fun club is like, uh, it's it's playing basically, yeah. it's it's on the ground. Actually, it sounds like the whole day is a very interactive session for every kid. Fully engaging. Yes. So much, uh, it's not like, you know, whoever comes to this camp, one time in life, that is good enough. <laughs> that is a memorable, 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 good experience great experience. Children. That to children from various cultures. Mm -hmm. Children come from Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, everywhere all over the India. Okay. Uh, so, mixed cultures, how to be, understand, get to know more about, making a lot of friends. So, it's completely engaging. I learned so many things, mm -hmm. especially how to get along with next person very happily. Ah. This is most important thing. So, 4.30 we have fun club or walking or nature walk, some kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, then that, that continues for next two to three hours. They play a lot. If at all you want to witness most joyous place are the heaven kind of environment uh, uh, thing. You must visit this 4.30 to 6.30 time in the Gurukul camp. Okay. Children will be shouting, playing, lot of joy, so much happiness, so much freedom. What not it, you will not find, you will see that uh, during that time. Okay. They are so joyous, continuously playing, shouting, doing everything, so much. That is the most uh, best time actually. Uh, in their life. So, then 6.30 we do Agnihotra. Okay. Um, some kind of small homa uh, some, with some chanting, mantra, all these things. So, if possible, they learn um, uh, some uh, uh, suktas or Shlokas? slokas. Okay. They do learn, yes. Um, all minimum things they do learn. When it comes to children, actually we used to run uh, uh, Upanayana camps too, where the Gayatri mantra is initiated and then they do 64,000 Gayatri japa. Mm -hmm. Depending on the uh, feasibility and availability, we will uh, redo it. There is no uh, caste or any kind of uh, bar for this. Anybody can come and get initiated. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the properly in a systematic way, Gayatri Mantra is uh, initiated to the uh, child. The Tupanayana Samskara, what we call. So, that can be done too. And uh, of course, especially during this time, the, the Sandhya time, what we call, uh, we do the uh, Agnihotra along with that some chanting. Then post that, if time permits, we do some pranayam, otherwise the supper or dinner. Then night, again very interesting thing, we have demonstrations. Okay. Whatever they have learnt in day, they have to explain to others or you know, it's all about how to present yourself, improving the presentation skills. So, they write their diary of uh, what you, whatever they have learnt for the day and what changes and impact mm. that they have experienced, that they write it very clearly, uh, okay. we make them write. So, uh, during this presentation, um, uh, like we tell all the children that, okay, now one person is giving the presentation. What are the positives of uh, that person? You know, what great things the child has done, explained or, you know, what needs to be improved. Okay. So, constructive feedback both. So, in that way, you know, systematically every day working on uh, same thing. Children become extremely perfect in explaining or saying, presenting themselves. Okay. It's very interesting. Yeah. I mean, the topics what you cover and how the kids can get, you know, a kind of review where they can uh, develop themselves. Right. Right. 
Okay, and Gopiji, uh, and a very sensitive thing here is how how you are going to take care of girl kids. Yeah, very in interesting and very important thing. Actually, yes. not interesting, very important thing. So we have the separate places. You know, during the activity or the classes, it is the same one common place. But when it comes to accommodation, completely where the girls stay, it is completely different. Where the boys stay, it is completely different. So, nobody, no male person is allowed to go towards the girls accommodation side, including me. So, my wife will be there or the teachers whom we have, uh, whom, who have been working as volunteers for a very long time, who got a lot of experience, they take care of the girls. Especially even when they are in monthly cycles or any kind of thing, they give proper attention and care, they take care of them. Okay. So, nothing to worry about girls. In fact, uh, there are some places, some, some camps where... Uh, we had 70% uh, of the girls and only boys uh, like 30%. Okay. It happened. Uh, usually like uh, wherever you go, girls number would be little less and boys would be more. But on contrary here, more girls because of the references like previous people who ever have been doing from last, previous years. Mm -hmm. uh, they just pass the thing word of mouth that uh, this is yeah safe best place. So, so many girls actually. Okay. And main are the age limit of children like who are allowed? Yeah, so 7th standard to 10th standard for long programs like 4 okay. weeks or 5 weeks program or you know 8 years to 12 years. Uh, it is for the 1 or 2 weeks program. Okay. Now this year we are also bringing uh, an additional summer camp, simple summer camp program leaving the academics only the activities part. Okay. That is a 2 weeks program for even to like 12 to 15 years age children. Okay, Gopichi that is very interesting again and may I know something about the place. Yeah, these places that we have chosen uh, are, uh, you know, we have certain criteria for selection of the place. Okay. We follow this. You know, just by keeping some building and then some room, it doesn't work. It is completely holistic program. It has to happen in nature. It's a camp. So, uh, we have chosen the suitable best place for this camp. One is Ramakrishna Mission Ashramam. Uh, that is near Kisra, just next to that Divya retreat, uh, resort kind of place and Sai Dhamma. So, all these are ashrams, well maintained with all facilities. Sleeping, hall, parking, everything, okay. all nice facilities are there. Okay. And once again, uh, once the kids are done with the course and before leaving the ashram, do you provide any certification for them? Yes, we do have certificates, but what is the use of certificate? You know, instead, you know, we can claim that if their parents really want, we do have, we do give the certificate. Okay. But what the experience they carry out of the camp is most important than yes. getting this uh, exactly. certificate. So, you know, continuously being with uh, different culture, I mean, uh, children from different cultures, places, languages, experiences, making new friends, learning so many uh, new things to their life. That makes their life uh, so joyful during this. Very well said. So, Gopiji, do you provide any handbook for the parents that what exactly you are going to teach for their children? Yes, I mean, uh, we will give you that schedule. At the same time, uh, uh, actually parents must go through one program. Instead okay. of giving just one handbook and then you read, okay, morning to evening, what is there or what is covered, what is not covered. It may give you the some kind of information in paper, but does that doesn't make you experience the things. So, what we want parents to do is just go through this experience itself. Okay, so parents also have uh, accommodation facilities. Exactly. Like but do I they mean, also have programs? Yes. Okay. You know, any parent, whoever want to join their children in this uh, camp, in this program, actually, I. It's camp means don't take it as a simple camp. It's a life transformational experience for the whole family okay. to fit into a right kind of uh, lifestyle. The way how we are leading our lives is very crazy now. What are we eating? What are we seeing? What are we doing? How we are handling with other people? Everything is very crazy. Once you learn these things, you get one system. You get adopted to one nice way of life. Yes. So, parents will go through uh, 12 days daily, two and a half hours online session plus three and a half days residential program in the same premises where their children are going to attend. Okay. And before the camp, they will complete this uh, trainings. And this is really helpful for the parent to cure their own, uh, you know, in case of any health uh, problems, 
if they don't have prevention is better than cure okay so they get to learn asana pranayama meditation and good food habits and so many life lessons okay if they have stress if they have some other problems so many relationship issues or you know office problems this problem that problem, so much they can just get rid of all these things and they they get what is the freedom what is the peace what is the calmness what is real life okay these days i think like see we see so many uh, so many of our age people will think like they want to go away from this pollution and they want to stay uh, away from cities at least for few days i think this is, this will be a very good opportunity for them yes the residential retreat which is there for 3 and 1/2 days is a deep uh, detoxification cleansing process yeah. where all your system organs become very fit and again you are coming with lot of uh, uh, recharged uh, <laughs> this thing we have we, we do we do charge our batteries every day yeah. how about charging this when the system <laughs> is very tired when the organs are not functioning well or how do you give the rest to this entire thing body mind and soul yeah. So this is what happens here in the program uh, to the parents too. Yeah, and there are a lot of parents, you know. Uh, uh, see, this is happening. I say that th- this program is very successfully happening, not because we do some YouTube video, this, that, and no. In fact, it happens, uh, you know, in a greater way because those who have done the program, they just tell it to the others that don't miss it. Their experience. So like that, we get many people actually. Okay. so i believe this will be a fantastic program for every parents like whoever are willing to go for such kind of programs this will be a better opportunity correct once they experience what is this then they will put their children very happily yes. then whole family will practice the together. same system go you know in the future together in the yes. future yes is there any option for the parents if they want to stay together with their kids well you are welcome to volunteer Okay. but not in the same campus of where your child is doing the camp oh okay so you know there are so many volunteers i mean once you go through this program you understand you get very much interested about all these things you want to continue and be in this culture so all the volunteers are welcome but no mother or no parent and uh, children uh, should not be in same camp okay so it is always separate because once you are there in the camp you will not let the child to explore what the child is supposed to do child is climbing something hey you will fall get down get down you will not let the child to explore and you will stop in so many ways and you will have extra affection towards that child okay. you will start pampering that child other other children will start missing okay overall so, the program concept should be how it is yes and you know it is most important that how does the child learn to be Uh, to live independently yes correct uh, that is a purpose how do they take care of themselves how to live independently okay. how to get that strength and discipline in life okay. and again if you are coming and giving every small thing like just like home you are giving issue or his books and everything where is the scope for the child to learn correct so we have to allow the child to experience that and of course on the other side i say that you don't send your child because uh, uh you know you are not able to bear the child at home or this kind of thing okay the, you send the child so that the child will be able to learn something precious in life yes with okay. that mind you can send just to engage them but it is not such kind of thing okay it is life transformational experience very precious for the life okay